in the background now you can see the fire station that we're going to be building. We are going to be building the fire truck and the fire station. Also you'll notice it's based around more of a modern theme for the fire station. So to start off with then, we're just going to be placing four grey wool blocks on top of each other and this is going to be the front of the fire station. Then on the right hand side next to this, we're just going to be placing two snow blocks in the floor. And on top of this, we're just going to place four by two with our glass panes. Next to this then, we're just going to place another row of grey wool. So we're going to be placing three lots of these next to each other. So there's going to be three lots of 4 by 2 glass panes overall. And that's the second section. So we've just got one more section to place now. Once you've done this, we're just going to come diagonal to the section we just placed, whereby we're going to be placing two grey wool blocks, and you just want to extend it up to four blocks in height. Then diagonal to this in front, we're just going to place one grey wool row. So that's the first section there, and we're going to repeat this another two times. So same as before, we're just going to come behind diagonal and place two more rows. Then a row in front again. Behind this then, we're going to place one row instead of two for this next section. And then another row diagonal to this in front. On top of this then, we're just going to place our snow with a one block overhang all the way across. Making sure to have one block 
hanging over on the edge. Then we're just going to place another three more rows behind this. From the bottom left corner of our snow, we're just going to extend it up another four blocks. Then we're just going to extend it all the way across to the other side. But on the other side, you don't want to extend it down. Then we're just going to place three more rows behind this and you want to place it across the top and side. Inside the section we just created then, starting from the left hand side, we're just going to place 3x2 with our red wool. Then next to this, we're just going to place 3 glass panes. And next to that, we're just going to be placing 3x2 again with our red wool. So overall then we're just going to be placing one more of these. So again two more sections of red wool. And next to the glass panes we just placed two more rows of red wool. And for the last section there, 3x2 again with our red wool. On the last section we just placed, instead of placing our glass panes next to it, we're just going to come behind it and place 3x2 again with our red wool. On the right hand side of red wool we've just placed, we're just going to be placing 3x2 with our glass panes. and then a row of grey wool next to this. So we're going to continue this same pattern all the way across, except for the last row where we'll be placing it one wide with our glass panes, as so there's not an overhang on the edge. And now for our last row of glass panes. So 
So that's that front section finished. So we're just going to sleep quickly and then we can start on the side. To start off our left hand side, we're just going to place two snow blocks in the floor. And on top of this, we're just going to place 4x2 with our glass panes. Then on the left hand side of this, we're just going to place 4 high with our grey wool. So we're just going to repeat this pattern another three times. So there should be three lots of 4x2 glass panes. And that's the second one place. So just one more on the left hand side now. That's the last one placed there. So now diagonal in front of this, we're just going to be placing four high with our snow. Then from the edge of the front of our building, we're just going to be placing our snow all the way across to the row we just placed. On the left hand side then, we're just going to be placing another three blocks of snow. And then from the front of the building, we're just going to be running a row of snow all the way across to the row we just placed. And then we're just going to fill in this section with snow. On the left hand side of this, we're just going to create a doorway for the side of the building. So for this, you should want to count up three blocks. And on the third block, we're just going to place three blocks out. And then two blocks underneath the last block. In the space we got in the centre, we're just going to place two snow blocks in the floor. With two doors on top. On the left hand side of snow above the doorway, we're just going to extend it up so it's the same height as the snow on the right hand side. Then we're just going to connect it at the top and you just want to fill the space in the centre with your snow. On the left hand side of our side door, we're just going to place one block of snow and on top of this you should want to place seven glass panes. So there should be a two block space on top whereby we're just going to place two snow blocks. And then on the left hand side of this, we're just going to place a row of snow all the way down. Once you've placed your row of snow on the left hand side of the glass panes, we're just going to place an additional three more rows of snow, making sure to build it up to the same height.
one block in from the edge. We're just going to place two wide with our grey wool. And then we're just going to extend it up so it's four blocks in height overall. Next to this, we're just going to place one snow block in the floor. And on top of this, we're just going to place four high with our glass panes. Next to this, another two rows of grey wool. Overall then, we're going to be placing three lots of 4x2 with our grey wool. So that's two of them placed, so just for the final one now. So next to this, we're going to be doing the same as before by placing our glass panes. But instead of placing 4x2, we're going to be placing 4x1 with our grey wool. And next to this again, we're going to be placing our glass panes, but you want to make it two wide rather than one wide. On the left hand side then, you just want to place one row of grey wool. And on the left hand side of this, we're just going to place two wide with our glass panes. After the glass panes here, we're just going to be placing two wide this time with our grey wool. So that finishes off this bottom section here. So now we're just going to come diagonal to the end block, whereby we're going to be placing two wide with our snow. And you just want to build it so it's nine blocks high overall. On the left hand side of this, we're just going to place three wide with our snow again. And as well, you want to build it up so it's nine blocks high. So you can see it should finish in line with the grey wool on the other side. Diagonal to the grey wall, we're just going to place a one block overhang with our snow. Then behind this, we're just going to place an additional three more rows of snow. So making it the same width as the row in front. On the right hand side then, we're just going to come one block in, 
whereby we're just going to place two wide with our red wall and you just want to build it so it's three blocks high overall. Then on the left hand side of this we're just going to place one row of glass panes building it to the same height as the red wall. On the left hand side of this we're just going to place another three by two with our red wall again. So that's two rectangles placed with our red wall and we're just going to place the last rectangle now making it the same width and length as before. On the left hand side of this though we're just going to be placing one row of glass panes same as before but next to this we're going to be placing one row of red wool rather than two. Once you've placed that you just want to place two rows of glass and next to that you just want to place one row of grey wool so we're just going to create a marker now whereby we're going to place our grey wool so you can see on the floor now is where we're actually going to be extending the grey wool up so it's three blocks high Then once you place your markers on the floor, you just want to extend it all up to three blocks high. To finish off this episode then, you just want to come one block out diagonally, whereby we're going to be placing our snow all the way across to the other side of the wall. And behind this, we're just going to place one more row of snow. But this time, extending it out one block further on the end. And we're just going to leave it there for this part.